welcome to a Monday morning. Monday it is. Today I am going to get those seals put in. I've drawn it out. Um, oh, where, where, where are we? I've got a good hands whipped behind there because that ram don't go out as far. And it's flipping leaking. <coughs> I'm going to change them rams to bigger rams. That'll be slower on the push and pull, which will make it a lot safer. Um, as you can see though, we did get that framework wrong. Well, we're in a weird as a, as a me. Uh, the aluminium is dead smack on square and I've got about an inch that side and I've got about an inch overhang this side. So that should have come over to there and that one should have gone over to there, but never mind. Right, I've already pulled a piece of metal out ready. I'm gonna plasma cut that and bolt that, sorry, rivet that down onto the top there. Piece of wood is cut, sand the top and bottom and the back just to get it a little tidy. You're not going to see any of this, so there's no point going too far into it. But we've got the piece of metal cut that will fix onto the roof aluminium as such. And these are the ends, so this will overlap with a piece of wood going up. My only concern is I'm quite sure how I'm going to get a piece of wood to stick to that. I'm not sure really how that's all going to pan out. I'm thinking. Maybe I should uh, get rid of that, actually thinking about it. Actually, no, I got that completely wrong. Um, yeah, anyway, ignore what I just said. I've now got to drill a series of holes, five mil holes all the way through, including all the way up there. And then I will get some black sealant and glue this piece of wood to that surface behind. And uh, then this will get laid onto the roof with black sealant underneath the wood and underneath here and then we'll use the pneumatic rivet gun to whack it down and that will be the first seal this is the biggest space at the moment on the lorry the only thing i haven't checked yet is to make sure that that fits it should do because i measured it to fit but with all the little problems i've been having lately i wouldn't put nothing past me there's the first seal Screwed on, sealed with black sealant. I know this stuff's good because I've had a hell of a time trying to rip it off. Um, holes are drilled. So what we'll do next, we'll get the sealant, we'll go along that wood line and that metal line and we'll lower that down onto the roof and then we'll mark where the holes have got to be and we'll drill. And while I'm up there, I will put the rubber seal in place as well. Now whether I will go with, with two seals, I don't know yet. It hasn't worked out well on the other side because that's part of the reason why it's jamming is the seals are wedging it. There's no tolerance hardly on the roof of the other one. So I have found out what it is. I just don't know if I can deal with it. It's uh, it's proving troublesome. I'm hoping I ain't got to pull everything apart to sort it out, but we'll see where we end up. I want to get this side finished first. So, yeah. It's in. I think we're going to have to do just a few more holes. There's a bit of movement there. But I'd say most of the umbrellaing or corrugation, I took most of it out. There's another one there I'll put in because it was buckling. That one was buckling, but we're good to go. I've drawn the slide out, out by about a centimetre. Purpose being, when it goes back in, it will hit that rubber really hard. Now, I don't know if you can see that rubber because it's very dark. That black strip is the seal, which is basically this stuff. So what I need to do now is do exactly what I did up there, down there. Great, the camera's about to pack up on me. The shutters aren't working. And that's really annoying. Anyway, look. The other seal is in, so that block now runs tightly against the seal that I've got down there. I just added this one in, mainly just to stop the water from running past. Don't think it'll be an issue. We've got to um, put some blocks down the sides now, and we'll glue them in um, at the bottom, and we'll seal them at the top. I'm not sure at the moment how I'm going to get around those rivets, but 
we've got that one to do and we've got this one to do hang on as you can see all the way down there so we are getting there very much getting there it's been a very productive day with all things considered i'm down to me last of me mahogany there isn't a great deal of this left to be honest i've done a scarf joint it's not a great one it's got two screws each side holding that on that'll go at the bottom it was just an inch too short that's the the problem um so i scarfed it i've glued it with polyurethane um so yeah we'll see where we end up i've got just that left I've got one more side to do and then we've got the floors to figure out i've already started working all out in my head how these floors are going to go um so yeah we'll see where we end up and i forgot about that camera i've got a second camera on it that one i've also got the shutter working again so uh yeah i'll try and do my little boxy bit at the bottom as much as i possibly can when necessary right just want to point this out you see that gap there is a reason why i'm showing you this it runs all the way up to the roof line okay now i'll explain why bring you this now i'm getting low on wood i'm now scrapping around so what i've done is i've got a piece of old oak and a piece of mahogany i've decided because i need a wider piece and i ain't got enough lying around it there just isn't any so i've glued two pieces together i've um scarfed another bit because i didn't quite have enough to reach i mean that's how bad it's getting but it's not necessarily going to be a problem um another gap i want that piece of mahogany facing the gap and i want this piece facing the seals this will take the weather a lot better than this will from experience that i've had with this particular wood um, this rots out pretty damn quick so if i put that on there put that on the side of the um the aluminium screwed in that'll be facing the outside weather and then that'll be on the seal if i varnish it all up and i'm not sure how i'm going to do that at the moment because um, the gap isn't very big I can't get a brush down so it might pay me to sand that back one more time um, and wax and varnish on that so it's sealed but it's going to take a heck of a long while for that to dry um, so we'll see where we go but it's all glued together now and I'm quite happy with that so we're just going to do a test fit from the outside of this one that's sealed so really all I need to do is um, crack away some of that sealant that's there and um, put some fresh down there there's a gap at the top that needs sorting out but i think we're good to go on that and on the inside as you can see it's pretty well locked in there is a gap up there as you might be able to see i don't know yeah there you go um that's just where i had to cut it to get it around the rivets um the slide out is pulled out just under a centimeter so as long as these all sit correctly Bear with me. As long as they all sit correctly, we shouldn't have any problems. And then when we um, retract, sorry, yeah, re no, extend, sorry, when we extend, that should lock in against that rubber seal perfectly. I've left the necessary adjustments. I've undone all them screws, drilled out to an 8mm hole instead of a 6mm hole, and I've pushed the slide out as far in as it'll go, and then I've repositioned and done everything back up again and that's the best i'm going to get it i can no longer feel a draft coming down this wall i could before but i can't now that one up there is nice and tight no drafts nothing 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 yeah it's all good right now we are sealed so the first part of the floor has now gone on and on. Screwed, well, I ain't actually, it's riveted, glued. I mean, that's pretty watertight. Sealed all the way along the back just to stop any splash back from the wheels under the truck, just in case you never know. Um, we've just got to now fill in, fill in that little bit. And then we've got somewhere to start from. I have gone slightly over the lap 
on that frame because what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a piece of wood from here right up to there but I need to come out here by about what centimeter or so and then another piece to go across so I'm going to ram in a load of wood in these steels so I've got somewhere to screw to aha you see these things they come to you and then we'll put a piece of ply on the roof as well just to seal it all up and join it all together right it was half six when we last spoke it wasn't seven o'clock but it is seven o'clock gone seven o'clock now and I'm done for the day I'm tired it's Wednesday all right process today is we are gonna knock some battens along the bottom all the way around to try and gain some of the shape back um, we'll exceed a little bit further forward so we've got something to build onto. I'm thinking about leaving a lip here. I'm a little concerned that piece of wood ain't gonna be strong enough to take it. And the reason for it is I've got a skirt. I wanna do that framework you see over there on this, because I wanna hide all that bottom bit. There isn't enough room to put it in front because it will hit that frame. I don't want to cut that frame back if I can help it. It's not something I want to do. Can't pull it apart. I don't think I can get, well I can. I can get that off and run that through the saw if I have to, but I don't want to. Uh, it's more work than it's worth. So I'm thinking about leaving a gap because I can put a piece of oak underneath, sand it back, and then a piece of oak on top, and then sand it back again. That's the initial plan anyway. Ended up being Q in the end. Wix didn't have what I was after. In fact, they ain't got a lot in there at the moment. Put battens in, as you can see. What's next? I suppose the front piece needs to go in and then we can start putting the floorboards on. Right, it's coming on good. I did say that I could square this back out again. It wasn't an issue. And that's exactly where it's going. So this one here, wardrobe drawers up to about mm, roughly there, toilet in that gap and then shower there because we've got to make that wall a lot bigger because shower stands out further so that wall's going to be huge. The floor is now squared off, we've just got to match the roof now. Uh, the overhang is for the shower and toilet room, you have got a lot of room in there for the toilet so I thought I'd extend that out to the same as the shower but it does take up a lot of internal floor space but there's not a lot I can do about that. I've just had to go one more plank wider because I forgot one stupid little detail. A blooming great, great start that again. A blooming great plug hole. Unfortunately, at that point here is a metal bar, and then you've got a series of wood for the floors. And because I was so hasty in trying to get this floor down, I completely forgot that I had to get rid of that bit of bar. Although saying that, getting rid of that could mean that the thing sagged anyway. So I've left it, but I've added another one of them on, which now gives me a literally a walk gap through the middle when these are both drawn in of three planks wide. That ain't a lot. So we'll see how it works out, but I can definitely see that being cut back a little bit you see where the slope is there I can see that going and it being squared off because I just don't think we're gonna cope with that and I'll tell you why because I'm a fat bugger it seems my seals don't work which I'm not surprised about because they were pretty um, wimpy I'm gonna have to order some D seals <coughs> off the internet but I don't know how I'm going to get them on now that I've built everything up because there's no one to get my hand behind there although I do have a fair gap on the outside so I might be able to access it all from that point I made some good progress today that is the door that's going in and that is the hole it will fit in we've got four posts in place so as square as I can get them had a bit of a issue with that corner one but we're there um everything lines i know it looks a bit donkey but it is all there welcome back it's friday i laid the train in 
that's roughly where it's going to sit biggest problem I've got with it is it exceeds two inches wider than I need it to I really wanted it to stop here so as I could double this post up but I have had an idea on how to double it up so you see the oak framework what we've got going around that I'm going to do something along that post here all the way up on both posts so basically when we put the plywood on with the wallpaper we'll then put a piece of oak over the top of that because there'll be a seam there anyway and then we'll get the router and cut that whole door frame out and then there'll be another piece of oak there there'll be a big slab go at the top a big slab go at the bottom and uh, one at the side on that bit possibly I don't know yet we've got a lot of rubbish to hide so we might do the slab and a strut just for decoration and that should actually then dub, you know, double up the, the door frame. It's not so much this one that's the issue, because that one ain't much of a problem. It's this one that's going to be the problem. The door hinges are hanging that side. Um, I could really do with cutting them now, to be honest, but I haven't got the plywood fitted yet. And I can't fit the plywood until we've lined this inside out. I mean, we're looking at a cut under quid to use that plastic stuff. It's nice and light. It's perfect for the job. But I was saying to the wife, I think it would be in our best interests if we had a plywood backing so as when we put the plastic in, it won't bow about. And then when I thought that out, I thought, well, why the hell don't I just put tongue and groove in there and paint it white, literally get some car automotive white, spray the, um, the wood up in that and then double K lacquer, 2K lacquer, sorry, like this stuff here. And then it will look plasticky, reasonably scratch resistant and still have the wood grain behind it and just generally be a lot neat and tidier but we're going to have a lot of gaps that's the downside to it because you can't get that stuff to go around corners like you could the plastic because i could cut the back of the plastic that's honeycombed i could cut the back and i can bend it and then i can go into that edge there and come out there's no join then going down the middle which makes it even more waterproof um, but the wood would be easy to use because we can then put pockets in places and cabinets and sink cabinets in the walls and so forth. So I generally don't know what to do at this point. I'm a little stuck. But the day is going quick. <clears throat> anyway, bottom frame, top frame, back frame, door frame, and there'll be another one going there. And then we've got this skinny little door at the back here, if it will fit. I actually haven't pulled out the check. Um, if it doesn't, then it won't go in, but we're gonna screw that post in first, then we'll measure that door up and if it'll fit, we'll put the second post in. And then uh, it's off to B&Q, because I have now, I've got one piece of wood left. I've officially run out of wood and the screws that I need. Um, so we're gonna have to buy another pack of this because we've still got to frame this out and we've still got to frame this wall here out because I've got to thicken the wall up which will be handy because when I come through with the hoses at the bottom I'll come up all the way up and I'll leave it really um, what I'll, I'll screw them down like a board here or something screw the hoses there I'm gonna leave them flap they're gonna rattle a bit and irritate when I'm driving along but that way that when the slide out moves in and out they've got room to move with it and hopefully nothing will get crushed up behind but I'll probably have to drill a hole right on the tip here and uh, work my way up somehow at an angle or something um, we'll figure it out as we go along the plug hole is the easy one out of them all right there's the wardrobe door space battens each side of that one one singular bat tell you what that's, that's tightened this up nicely compared to what it was so uh, yeah pleased with that um it's just a question of letting the glue dry off now cut the gaps here and there but we can live with that um the door fits over the frame, not in the frame. So we'll get the router out. We'll put a nice decorative curve around that once we get everything in um, on both sides, actually, possibly. Well, maybe not on both because we've got the holes at the bottom there. And obviously, when you start running a router around, you're going to get dips and everything like that. But, you know, tonight we'll get that piece of ply cut and we'll get that first one put in with some small screws all the way around. And then we'll cut that door frame out and uh, then we can work on the rest of the frame which has got to go at the back sides front and then we can get the drawer in and then we'll get uh, another piece of ply probably use one of those sheets in the, in the house and uh, we'll get that one connected up along with the inners as and when i can afford them so i am actually coming 
very close to the close of this because there isn't going to be much more I can do until I get more money in my pocket. Um, I need some plywood for the roof line, so we've got to trim all that lot off, belt sand that back. Um, we've got that to do as yet. We've got to get something for the inside. I mean, uh, we're still uh, whining over or arguing over which is going to be the best. She wants cheap, I want light and expensive. She just wants cheap and get it done. Tongue and groove will get it done, but it's the time span of fitting it. It's all got to be painted up, treated and everything. And I don't really want that in now. I don't like the stuff, never have done. I used it on the floor reluctantly just because it was free. That would have been normally been a bit of supply go down there, but we're sanding that floor back around that area where the toilet is. So, um, and we'll varnish that up as best as we can anyway and uh, go from there really. The stuff's drying out nicely so we'll put some adhesive through the gaps just to fill the gaps up and then we'll we'll varnish that and we'll paint the floor on the uh, wardrobe white and we'll do something about waterproofing this up as well. I don't really know what at the moment. I've got some of that bubble foil wrap but you know once you start standing on it obviously the bubbles will start popping so that ain't gonna work. Right, been to being cute. I've got a load more of this here wood although I'm sure it's thinner than that. We'll see. Uh, framework, as you know, is already there. The door's ready to go in. Best bit is I've got my measurements spot on. And this is uh, going to locate in there nicely, I think. So that'll be the first part of my wardrobe. Second bit will be the back wall and then the side wall, and then we'll do a frontage. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. What a wonderful day it is. Right. I have actually been out here. For a good hour or more um, just trimming up all the edges that I uh, I ain't doing a great job of this if I'm honest but we'll see how the end results come I got my ply cut but we haven't got enough to cover that bit but that's not so much of an issue because we're wallpapering and we're going to be putting trim around that so uh, we can come back to that so uh, yeah plywood goes on first and then I shall start building the back piece up so we'll finish the polystyrene off build a panel for the back and then we'll build the sides up once we've done all of that as well and then we'll run a thin piece of wood down the front here and then we'll run a piece across there which as yet I'm not sure how that's going to happen probably end up digging out all of that polystyrene and plonking a bit of wood in there and uh, then we'll frame it off properly and we'll make a, a wire getting a drawer in but that's the wall glued and screwed uh, we just got to cut the hole out and let that glue dry off. A bit dark around this corner bit. So the next thing to do is um, we've got that back wall to sort out. So we've got to stuff all, all the wall and uh, then we'll put any extra battens that are required in. Uh, well, it's been a bit of a slow day today. I've routed the door out um, and I've packed in as much polystyrene as I could fit in that gap instead of sitting there scraping all the old stuff out and starting again I just literally filled it um, it's fairly tight if I had some more money I'd get some polyurethane and just fill in the gaps and the cracks and then whack the piece of wood on as quickly as possible the best way to treat it you see is to let it blow out as it does and while it's still wet once it starts exp once it stops expanding then you quite literally get a bit of wood and wipe down and then you can whack your wood in and the polyurethane will glue to the wood and to the polystyrene at the same time which is what I did on the this is as far as I take it today I'm going to upload it's been a bit of a slog this I knew a wardrobe and a bathroom in a camper van can take so long but there it is, it's nothing special um, I've got a few clamps, homemade clamps, in the end there, um, just so as I can pull that wood in a little bit. Uh, there's no batten behind there, you see, that's why those white um, pines are there, just to neaten it off. And I actually quite like that myself personally, so that's not an issue. There's a wooden floor to go in, uh, a wooden roof to go in as yet as well. And then we've got to try and sort out some edging around it, which <laughs> I've got a problem coming. I mismeasured. Nothing new with me, is it? Stop point is there. It exceeds. See that? I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened. I followed that line. And it swells out in places it's not meant to. 
So uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that because the framework that I'm putting in is going to fall in there. If I'd have cut it, if I hadn't used this route a bit and kept it on that edge, I might have just got away with it. But nope, I can't. Um, so, uh, it's really annoying when that happens. There's nothing I can do about it at this point in time. So we're going to put a piece of wood in here. The problem is if I try and raise it out further here, it's going to hit here. And I was trying to avoid um, digging that all out and sanding it all back. It's just extra work I didn't want to do. It is now looking like we will be doing it. Which has really annoyed me. Um, but there you go. So what's next? Well, the frame on the outside is next. Once we've got that outside frame done. No, we ain't got to do that next. We've got to get, get this this papered but before i do that i think i need to establish yeah frame next up the top and going down and going across but we won't put the one go up there yet until i know where this is all going to end i want to put the paper on first and put the batten over the top of the paper um yeah this is a major problem i'm not even going to demonstrate by drawing the slide out in one because my power is getting a little low and i said i hate charging this thing up because i have to crawl under the track we'll do it um and secondly well, you're just going to have to tune into next week and see where we go with it. There ain't much more I can do financially, so we'll try and get that wardrobe finished next week for definite. We ain't got much more to do, to be honest. Um, if we can get that done, I'll be over the moon. So we've got two pieces of ply. No, we we've got one piece of ply left, which will be the front, which I shall wallpaper and put in place once this piece has been done. Um, and then we'll put a hanger up or something and then that's it, the wardrobe is, is finished as far as finished can go on that because we need to continue with this and I can't do no more because I ain't got no more wood and I don't know what I'm doing in here but we will lay the tray in, we will put the toilet in, we'll work out what side the door's going to swing on um, we'll take this off and sand the bottom of that down and I may very well sand the whole thing back and varnish that up next week because it needs it um, and go from there really we've got to trim up the top we've got to put the roof on we can definitely do that next week that's uh, not an issue once we've finished all of this we'll then sort those seals out again if i can get my hand behind there and i'm not holding much hope on that um one thing i had an idea on was spray adhesive and some thick um plastic foam cut maybe i can slide that behind whilst the glue is still wet and then press the button to compress it into the slide out and then hopefully it will dry and stay in place. That's the only other idea I've got if I can't get any seals behind it. I have really mucked up there. I should have put a hose pipe over it first before I start building it all up. Um, that I didn't think I was going to have a problem with it. But I did. That will teach me for being a big headed dick. So uh, yeah. Um, there isn't much more I can say really. So thank you very much for your viewings. On the last one, I know it wasn't that great, and uh, the thumbs up reflect that. But for all those that have put the thumbs up and took time out for that, thank you. Uh, thanks for your comments, some of them. There's nothing wrong with my hair, thank you. Um, so, with that in mind, I'm going to disappear. See you next week. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.